Defusing bombs is dangerous work. Rather than risk another life, the soldiers send in a Talon robot, the golden retriever of the Pentagon's so-called unmanned ground vehicle fleet. Over a thousand Talons in Iraq and Afghanistan go on patrol every day, sniffing out the countless bombs that are the biggest killer of U.S. troops. Talon has earned a reputation for toughness that has made it one of the most popular military robots. Our robot is the uh, Talon Robotics System. We actually call it Stimpy. But you can replace a robot, but you can't, you can't replace a good friend or a team leader, someone who's taught you so many good things. A soldier with a joystick sends radio signals to steer his robot. The Talon has a camera and beams back video of everything it sees. It also has a claw for breaking or shaking apart bombs. When Talons are injured, soldiers take them to robot hospitals, a kind of mechanics garage for injured bots. At the Robotics Joint Repair Facility, Petty Officer First Class Overton, along with the rest of the robotic technicians, are on call 24 hours a day. When a tech comes back with a damaged or destroyed robot, and you know, you're concentrated, oh, can I fix it, what can I do with it? And then you look up at that tech and know that that's another day that you got to spend time and talk to that person and that's a person that you get to send home back to their family. You see these guys come in brand new or you see one that you worked on for a couple weeks at a time that you've gotten kind of attached to, you named the robot. 